Hey guys, it's me Matthew. Of course, of course, in this video I am playing The Legends of Runeterra, or just Legends of Runeterra. There is no the. This game is a card game, um, I don't want to compare it to Hearthstone because from the very, very, very small amount that I've played, as in I haven't even played a real match yet, it's nothing like Hearthstone, um, except for the fact that, you know, it's card-based, and of course Hearthstone is not original in any way, um, but it definitely started the trend towards these card-based games, which is why I'd refer to Hearthstone first. But, uh, let's see, versus player versus AI, Trindamir is definitely my f one of my favorite champions in the game. So I am going to, uh, try out this Trindamir deck versus AI, because I honestly don't know what I'm doing. The main event AI. Okay, so I got four champions or something? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'll learn what all of these mean eventually. Oh, whoops. Nexus damage I deal to my blocker is dealt to the enemy Nexus. Okay, mighty Poro. 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 Very nice. So those spells can be cast outside of combat and other casting, uh, the enemy can respond. Um, so I believe there are multiple types of spells. I've only encountered burst and slow so far. Burst allows you to just cast them whenever, and it seems like slow allows for a reaction of some kind. Takes one less damage from all sources. Useful. Level up, um, deal damage to an enemy using the unit's power units with... Okay, so the, um... Each champion seems to have a level up requirement, and his first level up is striking twice. Um... Yeah, I don't... I don't fully understand. But I don't know why is Trindamir part of this deck and Brom. They're not part of Demacia. Are they now part of Demacia? That's interesting. Okay, I don't have enough mana. Son of a bitch. Uh, I honestly don't know how to acquire mana. Um, each round mana refills and max mana increases by one, so I have to play something low first. So I've pretty much been giving up uh, my turns, not realizing that it does not progress like Hearthstone yet again. This is pretty much my first time playing a real match, even if it's against AI, I've only gone through the, um, the relatively short tutorial where I was on autopilot the whole time, not paying attention, because who the fuck pays attention to that? I think I might go with the Mighty Poro just because of how good he is, but Avalanche would be useful against those guys. Hmm. I'm going to go with Mighty Poro. Oh boy. Okay. Do I have a chance to... No. Okay. Let's see how they distribute. Hmm. Oh, okay. Are they not blocking? Oh, they destroyed that. I honestly did not read. Get excited to play, discard one, deal three damage to anything. Oh, okay. 
Well, um, and after I cast Avalanche, I will hmm, grant a damaged ally. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. Oh, grant an ally. Oh, you can't play a unit while spells are being cast. See, there's a lot of nuances that I do not know about. But I just wiped that person's board. Well, the AI's board. And who's that? Lawrence. Oh, Lawrence Protege. Protege. Challenger. Can choose which enemy unit blo uh, blocks. Drag opponent into blocking position. Um, some sort of taunting mechanism. I'm going to play Garrett now. Um, Chem. Uh, oh, Chem. Chem Punk. Okay. So that's some sort of echo kind of character. Deal one damage to all units. Son of a bitch. Somehow he did not kill that character. Um. Let's see here, I might be willing to... Oh, it's because he takes one less damage from everything, and since he only did one damage, you need at least two damage to kill this guy now. Okay. So I'm gonna play both. He gets to decide which one he goes after. Actually, fuck it, I'm going to just put out this guy, keep Garen in the background. Because I don't want Garen to get wiped out. He didn't block at all. And Garen healed. I did not know they could heal. I'm guessing the champions heal. Clearly, I was not paying attention at all. Um, an ally. Uh, strike each other. An ally. Hmm. Okay, so I'm forcing their, them to attack each other. And I took him out. Perfect. Flame Chompers. When I'm discarded, summon me. Okay, so it's its purpose is only to block. Deal one damage to an enemy unit. Um, the Mighty Boro. I can only use six or right, uh, five right now, so I'm gonna use the assassin to uh, kill that guy really quick. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, they only give him attack power. There we go. What happened there? I'm so confused as to why it forced my guy out there, but yeah, I mean, yet again, no fucking clue what I'm doing. Hmm. I'm gonna put him down and I'm gonna follow with. Lauren Blade Keeper on my next turn, if I get a turn. Stun an enemy. Ah, you bastard. I guess I could give it to Garen. Draw a unit with 5 plus power. Fuck it, yeah, that sounds actually kind of good. Trindamir. So he's a unit. If I would die, I level up instead. I'm guessing that only happens once. Yeah. Nice. Well, um... Because they don't have anything to attack back with, I might as well. Kindly Tavern Keeper, heal an ally. Nice. I'm guessing I can't heal the Nexus. 
And of course, I'm going to play Trindamir. Why wouldn't I play Trindamir? And now I can attack. Or, yeah. Perfect. Um, hmm. I guess I'm going to bring all these guys back and grant Trindamir more damage. Affectionate Poro. Yeah. And I'm just going to send out all of my units and attack. They're, they're only blocking Garen. Okay. And I won. So these definitely seem very short and sweet. I don't know if you can build your own decks. Um, if they want any longevity, you're definitely going to have to be able to build your own decks. I'm assuming you can, but I didn't really look too much. So I'm going to go to collection. Uh, loading game. Oh, shit. I clicked play again, didn't I? Oopsie. Well, on my next <laughs> uh, attempt, the next time I have a chance. There we go. Radiant Strength. Fully heal an ally, then double its power and health. That would be useful. Um, but I'm not going to really use that at the beginning. Same with Mighty Poro. They're awesome, but... They who endure, Silent Watchers, when I'm summoned, grant, uh, grant me plus one, plus one for each ally that has died. Vanguard Sergeants. Well, I can play Githria of Cloudfield, which is definitely going to be in a, a new champion at some point. Pretty much just the human version of Poppy. Um... Fearsome. It can only be blocked with enemies with three or more power. Interesting. They don't even block it. Okay. Alpha Wild Claw. Nice. Um. Well, I can't do much. Oh boy. Oh boy. So I'm going to let her take on Elise and hopefully kill her. There we go. And I took two damage. Uh, battling ally strikes a battling ally strikes all battling enemies does that mean that they also take the damage I'm confused hmm great well that's I'm assuming because it's so expensive you wouldn't take damage from that or at least if you do it'd be after you hit everyone that would be the hope. Um, but I think I will take this nice little upgrade and attack because I can. Oh, and they resubmit the lease. Lovely. Unfortunately, I can't use Judgment. Vanguard Sergeant, when I'm summoning Great A4 Demacia in hand, give allies 3 plus 3 this round. Slow. Um, I 
Now I'm going to go with uh, Mighty Poro. And hopefully they don't attack. Nope, they're attacking with the full force. Awesome. Well, in that case... Um, summon a Spiderling. I'm going to kill Elise again. And I'm going to take three damage, but hopefully we'll at least do two damage in return. What was that? Oh, shit. Well, man, I lost my unit. Fuck. Ouchie. If an ally died this round, summon two spiderlings. God, fuck. Okay. <laughs> I need avalanche. Please give me avalanche. Nope. Not like it matters if I draw someone good. So I could attack. I might as well. I don't see why not. At least with uh, Mighty Poro. So I'll do that. Oh, fucker. At least I did some damage. This is not looking good, though. I don't know how many units you can have on the field at once. I'm assuming six is the max, but... Okay. Now, they who endure would be really good if I had a shit ton of cheap units, but... Unfortunately, ooh, oh yeah, Alpha Wild Claw, fuck Garen, who needs him? And I guess I'll just put him out there, don't really have much of a choice. And it looks like defending doesn't uh, allow me to do the extra damage. Which is a shame. Hmm. I'll put Garen out there. Yeah. Um. And the Vanguard Defender. The less damage I take, the better. Fuck it, I'm gonna go on full attack. Give an ally one plus one this turn, and I'm gonna give Alpha Wild Claw. Drain four from an ally unit. What the fuck? How does that even work? You didn't have four to drain. That doesn't make any sense. And did that... Did that also block Garen from attacking? That guy didn't exist anymore, so Garen should have attacked the Nexus. I'm not sure I'm enjoying these mechanics. But, uh, I'm battling... How does this work? I'm not sure, but... I'm going to hold on to it. Actually, let's see if I can do this. Nope. Yeah, damn it. I was really hoping that was going to go through. I'm going to have Garen take that brunt of the damage. Oh. Why can't I use this spell? Oh, there we go. I had a drag and drop. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's see if Overwhelm stacks with this. 
because if it does, I'll wipe them out in one turn. Nope. Okay, so that completely... That was a waste. It didn't do anything at all. I mean, it killed all the enemies and wiped the board. But the initial um, overwhelm attack didn't go through at all in the first place. So... Uh, I guess I'll summon the Vanguard Sergeant. Give allies 3 plus 3 this round. Um, yeah, might as well. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I put that down. Oh, you fuck. Well, it's not that big of a deal, but it's still annoying. And now, time to attack and absolutely obliterate. There we go. That lasted for much longer than I should have. Um, had I known what I was doing, it wouldn't have, but... Yeah. No, don't play again. Let's check out my rewards. Rare wild card. Okay. Did I level up again? How many times did I level up? Okay. So they don't really emphasize on the opening things in this. Like, they go through the animation, but they don't give you time to look. Either that's trying to get you to go through more faster or they someone is trying to fight against the um the gambling addiction that's going on that these games are at fault for but let's see here decks so i can make a new deck um so i can have champions How many of anything can I have? I could have two Dariuses. I don't really know how these decks are. Oh, I can have six champions and a total of 40 cards. Hmm. Your hand is empty. Interesting. Well, if I can completely manufacture a deck then the Watchers, um, card that I had, this one, They Who Endure, which I believe is a reference to the Watchers, that part of lore, I'm not sure if they, uh, if they got rid of or not, Brood Awakening, <laughs> okay, and... Unfilter, actually. So, does this limit types of cards I can have? I'm so confused. Why can't I take this? You can only add cards from two different regions to a deck. Okay. So, there is some sort of limiting here. Is the spider not from... Oh, that's a spell, but it's a wild card. I'm so confused. Well, I need the, uh, the Watcher's spell, so let's get rid of the filters again. Just type... Oh, wait, I don't think... Those who endure... No, it's not showing up if I type it out. Oh, it's they who endure, not those. Oh, man. So if I search Spiderling... Hmm... Wow, 
Summon an attacking spiderling every time I attack. Summon a spiderling when he dies, it looks like, which actually helps a lot. Anything that I can do to summon spiderlings can buff they who endure. Let's see if I have multiple. Nope, I only have one. Okie dokie. Um. Hmm. Trindamir. Of course. Of course, of course. If an ally died this round, deal three damage to an enemy unit. Kill an ally to draw two. That would help even more in this deck to make the Huendor very powerful. Let's frostbite. Set a unit's power to zero this round. Um, that might be useful. If three plus allies have died this round, summon Vileba. I am going to be focused around summoning weak things and killing them. Phantom Prankster, when another ally dies, deal one damage to the enemy nexus. Hmm. Revive me at the start of, uh, start of, revive me at start of round and grant me plus one plus one for each time I've died. How the fuck do you fight that? No, it can't block, so it's kind of useless in that case. So if you just keep blocking it, and you can block it with anything, you're fine. And... Okay, yeah, so that card is sounds a lot more strong than it is. Start of round, get an extra mana gem this round. That sounds very useful. Hmm. Drain three from a unit. Sure. Vengeance, kill a unit. I guess that's going to be, uh... Those cards that instantly kill are going to be my downfall if I completely rely on uh, those who uh, endure. When I'm summoned grant uh, allies in your deck, plus one, plus one, and you look at cheaper spells, cheaper cards. When I'm summoned to grant the top two allies in your deck, plus one, plus one, Kill an ally to draw two. I think I already have one. Yeah. When you cast a spell, grant the top ally in your deck plus one plus one. Hmm. Take the marksman. How many black spears can I have? Hmm, the Tavern Keeper seems useful. Grand Damage Ally, those were pretty, pretty good. And I might as well take the Undying. I can have a lot more cards than I thought. It's a little overwhelming, honestly. Well, that's a little... Interesting. Kill en all enemies with zero power, then frostbite all enemies. So if you just find a way to frostbite all the enemies first, then you use that and you kill them all. Um, these are a little interesting, to say the least. So I can have four more cards. Uh, 
And one more. If I could, there we go. This is a weird ass deck. Uh, and I'm going to try it out versus AI. Um, yeah. Let's see what happens. I have a strong feeling that this deck is nowhere near as good as I had intended it to be. Mostly because I had no idea what I was doing. But we'll find out now, won't we? Okay. My turn first. I didn't have anything to play. Okay, so it's just skipping turns until I'm able to play something. Oh boy. I guess, yeah. That's all I can really do. You can just keep using that. Jesus. Um, well, fuck. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna summon Elise. And then, hopefully, I have an opportunity. Oh my god. That looks a lot more vicious than it actually is, but still. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all I can pretty much do. And I think attacking is a bad idea, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna rely on them to attack me. And they are waiting for some reason. Yeah, I'm gonna do that with this guy. I would do it on that one, but... Hmm. Doesn't seem worth it. Units with two or less. Okay, so I could sacrifice Elise for this. But I don't really want to. So I guess I'm just going to be taking that much damage. Well, fuck. Um, can I outpace that one? What happens if I try to counter that spell with killing my own ally? It looks like his will go first. Okay, so that was my reactionary, and then he reacted to that. So that was actually brilliant. And now we have five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap that guy. And I can't play any cards, but... Hmm. Now they get to decide who attacks what, so they're probably going to put, yep, exactly how I expected it to go. And for another, well, I 
diary of the old one that exists. Hmm. I guess I'll summon a mighty Poro, or you can't. Oh, I'm being attacked. You bitch. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> I don't even get the point of all that, but oh well. Two mighty poros. Fucking I will use Phantom Prankster. And I guess I could attack, so I might as well. Yeah. Works for me. Drain three for me units. Um, I might. Yeah, fuck it, why not? It's kind of a waste, but I'm doing it anyways. What determines when my uh, characters heal? Random stun. Does that overheal? Let's see. Nope, it does not overheal. That's a shame. Well, I'm going to use all of my cards. And I didn't even see the, uh, those who, um, endure at all. I think there might be a few too many cards in a deck for this game. But that's going off of my very short experience. I'm definitely going to have to use these two. Scuttlegeist. Jesus. Okay, well, at least I'll do two damage. And I'll be able to summon Vioma. Um. Oh, wait. Hell yeah. Sweet. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit more powerful, but 6-6 six, six is not bad. Um, yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to straight up attack with it right away. And I win. There we go. Now, it's not a bad game by any means. It's enjoyable. I wouldn't say that it's um, something that I'm going to continue to play. I might, but I don't even usually play card games, and uh, it has the same problems that Hearthstone does, um, in the sense that, okay, I should restructure this sentence, I forget what I just said, I'm going to replace that with, I don't like card games, because it is purely based off of chance, and although I have laid off the idea of being competitive um, in video games for a while now, I still don't enjoy being screwed over by random number generators, you know? Um, so it's not something I personally enjoy, 
but I mean, if you're a fan of these card games, if you're a fan of games of luck, then you might love this game. I personally think Hearthstone is better. Um, I haven't played it in a long time, but if I had to pick any card game to play, uh, I would look up a game called Duelist. It's on Steam, and you spell it D-U-E-L-Y-S-T. Um, and again, I haven't played it in a while, so I don't know um, if it's still as good as it used to be. It's a more strategy focused, like there's still RNG mechanics to it, but there's more skill involved. Um, of course, there is still strategy and skill involved in these games. There is no denying that but it feels more interactive and involved, at least when I last played it quite a while ago. Like, it's honestly probably been like over two years since I played it. But yet again, I don't play these games, like ever. I try them once and then I drop them forever. Um, so... My opinions on these games are kind of worthless if you enjoy, like, Hearthstone. Um, hopefully, this video either puts you to sleep or lets you know more about this game that Riot is making. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.